Hi, I'm Sharon from Health Craft and Vinyl. If you would like to see how I turn this into this, then stay with us. So for this project, I need a bottle, I need my weight spirit, transfer tape, pick, tweezers, scissors, cloth and scraper. <clears throat> And the rubber, the uh, white spirit or rubbing alcohol, um, either will do. So I'm just cutting down the permanent adhesive vinyl that I'm using today. I'm doing it in black. I'm just making sure everything's in line. We will actually be selling these if anybody's interested in purchasing them for Christmas. Um, there'll be a number of designs on the website. So just go along, choose your design um, and then we'll apply it to the bottle for you. We are for the first 20 customers, including free fairy lights, <clears throat> as well as a spare set of batteries to uh, extend the pleasure. Um, and these are attached to a cork so they fit nicely inside the bottle uh, without the need to drill a hole. So I've already cut it on my Cricut and I'm just going around making sure all the letters are stuck down because on this project I've uh, opted for reverse weeding. Now the option is that I could just weed or remove the unwanted vinyl from the front but as the sheet it's sticking on isn't sticky, the vinyl itself is sticky, there is a um, risk that I will just lift everything up. So the, when it's lots of little words, and not a big design, I opt for this method. I'm just cutting away the unwanted transfer tape. All my transfer tape I use time and time again. It's just fine to do that. And I'm just lifting up the backing sheet now, so the <clears throat> unsticky side of my my final is stuck to my sticky side of my carrier sheet. I'm now going to remove or weed away all the vinyl I don't want. If I was doing a stencil, that would be the letter, the internal letters. As this is the letters that I want, I'm just removing the bit around. <clears throat> We'll also be um, doing some glass etching and mirror etching um, in upcoming videos and those products will also be available for our sale for sale in the run up to Christmas. We are giving discounts for orders placed before the December. Um, so the bottles are £15 plus postage for orders received before um, midnight on the 1st of December and uh, £20 for orders received after that date. <clears throat> Obviously, that will not, doesn't include postage. And um, the mirror plates are absolutely beautiful. Um, I'm really looking forward to showing you that video. I have already made it. I did three videos on the same day, back to back. So uh, that one will be coming up soon. I actually did it for a present for a family member for their birthday so I couldn't put the video up until they'd, they'd actually had their birthday. So as you can see I'm pulling up the adhesive vinyl bit by bit and cutting it away because the transfer to the, the adhesive vinyl is very sticky it will have a tendency to stick to each other so um, I'm using it there just to hold everything down um, so I don't want it to just roll into each other um, and so I'm just cutting it away as I go, changing the direction I come from. Um, I find it much easier to weed into a letter. So, for example, if you've got a C, if you weed into the open part of the C, you're less likely to lift the letter than if you come at it from the other direction. Mm. If anybody is interested in uh, purchasing a... Cricket and would like to know my experience, then uh, please do get in touch. I am doing taster sessions for people in the Swindon area. If anybody's near to Swindon and would be interested in a um, 
and a taster session. They are free. You just pay for your materials, then uh, please do contact me. As you can see, I've now almost got all of the um, large piece of vinyl up and just leaving the letters and the picture behind. And then it's just a matter of going into the letters and removing the centres. If you have your own crafts that you would like to sell and would like to put a link on our website to your Facebook shop or your Etsy shop, um, then please do get in touch. Um, it's free and we are quite happy to do that. You don't have to buy your materials from us. Um, that's absolutely fine. We don't expect it. I mean, when people do buy from us, that is lovely, but um, it's not required. So as we come nearly to the end of weeding out the letters, is just a few tiny bits that um, prove problematic, mostly around the cursive letters, but nothing too difficult and we're able to get them up. We will be putting the adhesive vinyl in our shop, well, hopefully within the next two weeks. I had ha hoped it would be done by now, but I'm still finalizing with my, with my suppliers. So there we are, we're very nearly done. It's a very satisfying thing and it, they look wonderful. We've had uh, some absolutely glorious weather here in Wiltshire. Really can't believe it's October. The sun is shining and the leaves are turning. And I, it feels like I'm doing Christmas in July. It doesn't feel like autumn at all, apart from the leaves turning. The sunshine is so warm. I'm quite happy going out in just a T-shirt at the moment. So the message on this bottle is, Grandmas hold our hands a little while, but our hearts forever. And there's three little children holding hands and dancing. Such a, uh, a lovely sentiment. And there I am just fiddling with the last of the weeding on the word Grandma. So say if you want to be included in our uh, competitions uh, in December, then don't forget to leave um, a, a flower emoji in on any of our videos. Um, like, share or subscribe and we'll include you. And please do check out our terms and conditions on our website www.elfcraftandvinyl.com And the final little bit, this is where your tweezers come in very handy. And we're all done. So there it is. And if you were selling decals, then you would just put it on some paper and off it would go. So I'm just cleaning with white spirit the bottle. Our bottles, this is a recycled bottle, but our bottles are new on our website because... It's the only way we can guarantee a standard size. What I've done is I put a tea towel underneath and then just balled up each side just to stop it rocking. Now on it goes, I'm eyeballing it um, and going down the center. There we go. And then around. There we go. And it doesn't matter if there's creases in the carrier sheet as long as the vinyl is straight. And I'm just going down and with my scraper making sure each individual letter is really rubbed down well, burnishing it. And I like I like the paper 
carry sheets when you're working on a curved surface. It really does work well to get around those curves. And this is the um, light that you will get if you were to order one from us. Uh, you get three batteries, uh, extra batteries. It comes with batteries and you just remove the little plastic tab and then we'll th send three spare ones with it for the first 20 orders. And here we are peeling it off. As I say, this is a, a really lovely project. You could do these and sell them at uh, craft fairs um, or in your Etsy shop and they're very popular. So I'd not heard of them till we were asked to make one for a customer and uh, she sent me a photograph of what she wanted and I was able to come up with a design based on the one she'd sent. It wasn't exactly the same quite obviously but it was my own design based on the one she'd sent me and uh, yeah she was very happy with it. So here's the finished article. If you've liked this don't forget to subscribe, share and hit the little bell if you want to be notified when we're uploading a video. Thank you for watching and do visit us at www.elfcraftandvinyl.com and uh, happy crafting.